So what is animation? Animation is a form of art that depicts movement to tell a story or message. In comparison to older animation like Looney Tunes, animated shows now tend to have more focus on numerous special effects rather than story plots. And this can actually result in animators relying too much on technology to do the majority of work for them. Now, older animation artists' work is more effective as examples of well-developed entertainment in comparison to artists today. Uh, before computers and technology were used as a tool for creating animation, artists relied on their hands to draw scene-by-scene -scene screenshots to create accurately timed movements in motion pictures. And for example, in Richard Williams' book, The Animator's Survival Kit, he shows how each drawing is drawn carefully, frame by frame, for the character's movements or actions that they are trying to draw. And this does take more time and effort, but it allowed the artists to get into character. It allowed them to understand the story plot better and carefully focus on what exactly they were trying to go with the story and how the character was supposed to portray a message. Um, and with the assisted help of technology, artists today are able to accomplish short deadlines and large quantities of work, but the quality of work hasn't been up to par with the, uh, with their story plots and the characters, and it really loses focus. So it's important to recognize the groundwork in the history of animation because without it we begin to lose focus on what animation was created and what purpose it served. Uh, and the generation of 2010 years shows like Uncle Grandpa and The Regular Show, they only hold focus on entertaining a small group of viewers uh, and can only entertain them for a short amount of time. You know, you watch the first three episodes of these shows, uh, they tend to just have a lot of special effects and tacky jokes crammed into one episode. Um, and it almost feels like they're they're trying to see if they can outdo the next episode on what they can include or, you know, bigger noises or, you know, funnier jokes, uh, which can only entertain someone uh, for a certain amount of time. Um, you know, Walt Disney said that animation was for all ages um, everywhere around the world, and animation today doesn't really, doesn't really effectively entertain all group ages, generally just the small small group ages between maybe 8, 4, and 12 years old, maybe. And uh, so it's kind of lost its focus and its recognition as entertainment. Um, and it's obvious how artists today are lacking in originality and, ima and imagination to create a well-structured storyline. So, in conclusion, the importance of older animation holds a well-developed structure that has slowly been ignored due to the lack of passion and increasing the reliability of technology to do most of the work for them. Um, we notice that technology has made artists take shortcuts in the process of developing animation and can cause artists to lose focus and direction with characters and story plot. And after hearing a few of my points of concern, can you relate to the shows you used to, you remember growing up watching, and the shows that you see on television today, and say that the quality of work created is still the same? Um, so I'd like to thank you all for listening in, and remember, technology is only a tool, not a substitute, for the work that should be done by the artists themselves. Thank you.